Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to, how to set up Unity Remote so you can debug your games in your phone while you're in editor mode. So first off you have to install this Unity Remote 4 into your phone just by going into the Play Store and installing it. Then you know clicking here. I already have it installed. Uh, if you want you can if you want you can see here the manual, it doesn't have much information. And they actually also made a an asset in the asset store that shows you some some difference from this Unity Remote 4 and the Unity Remote that was prior to this one. Some of the difference from some of the differences, for example, they have added the gyroscope feature in this one, so you can now use it easily in Android. Anyways, another thing that you have to do is to put your phone in debug mode. Uh, and to do that you have to tap to, to into your mobile settings and press like seven times in in your device's build I think and then the programming options will be activated and then we'll be able to actually activate the debug mode in there. Uh, you can uh, you can surely find a lot of tutorials that show you how to do that. And finally you have to install the Android SDK. And all you have to do is to go into the SDK into here and click on the standalone because you don't want a studio version you want a standalone SDK click on here and go into the re recommended version this will download the installer and then you will need to run that installer to actually uh, have the Android SDK and I it will give you a, a folder like this by the way the this Android SDK will need a Java SDK to to be installed, so install that as well. Okay, once you have this in here, I'll have to do is go into Unity and here in the edits, go into preferences and in external tools, navigate to the folder where you have the extra the Android SDK. Finally, to make you able to detect stuff to detect your phone, go into edit, project settings. Editor and here any Android device, it will be unknown. Click here and now, and now you can actually debug games with your phone. Now, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about some touch detection basics. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.